Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Connecticut, Mr. Larson, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to revise and extend my remarks and address the body for five minutes. I want to thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, as you know, this global pandemic has impacted every nation in the world. But here in America, as we've seen, with just over a million people who have passed, 750,000 of them are over the age of 65. Those seniors are also the people hurt hardest by inflation, as are all individuals who are on a fixed income. Democrats have a plan. We have a plan to address all of Americans' rising expenses that they are experiencing. We have a plan to address them today, tomorrow, and into the future. It's called Social Security. Social Security is the nation's number one anti-poverty program for the elderly and the number one anti-poverty program for children. And yet Congress has not taken any action to expand benefits in more than 50 years. Democrats have a plan to expand benefits today, tomorrow, and forever. The Republicans have a plan also. Their plan is to end Social Security in five years. It's time for us to have this debate in front of the American public, not behind closed doors, and let people know where their members stand. I refer you, Mr. Speaker, to this poster behind me. This poster demonstrates that Democrats have a plan to increase Social Security benefits. Republicans have a plan to cut benefits 20% across the board. Democrats have a plan that will ensure that Americans are able to keep pace with them inflation and rising costs. The last time Congress did anything with Social Security, a gallon of milk was 71 cents. We all know what the cost of living is today, but inaction is inexcusable. The Republicans call for 20 separate benefit cuts to Social Security, and most importantly say we're going to get there by raising the age. For every year you raise the age, that's a 7% cut in people's benefits. The idea that people would say, well, people are living longer, so we have to raise their age. Imagine that. So you're living longer. The Republicans want you to live on less or work till you die. The time of reckoning is upon us. President Biden has called Social Security a sacred trust has called for, as you heard Mr. Ruiz say before, the concept of making sure that WEP and GPO is repealed so that teachers and firefighters and policemen can get the benefits they deserve, and also to make sure that nobody who works all their life and pays into a system, these are not entitlements, as they say in their book and in their Republican study plan, these are the benefits that people have paid for out of their pockets. Working people of all races, colors, and creeds in this nation who deserve that sacred trust, that promise that the American people know is theirs in the sacred trust that Social Security represents. The Republicans have a plan to end Social Security in five years. How about you join us and expand Social Security benefits for people who need them in the midst of this pandemic, in the face of what's happening to our seniors? The time to act is now. We don't need a double secret probation study like they're advocating in the Senate. We need to do this out in public with the people demonstrating what we stand for. Democrats stand for enhancing benefits and improving the quality of life of our seniors. You stand for cutting their benefits and ending Social Security in five years. We'll have a special order later today. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.